Hi, I'm Bobby Fazy, attorney with Insight Law, and this topic is why you name a trust the beneficiary of your IRA. So the big picture behind the IRA and designating the trust as a beneficiary really stems from protecting those IRA assets. From a philosophical standpoint, our clients come to us when they come with their estate planning to protect all their assets, but for some reason when we get to either IRA or qualified assets, then the beneficiary designations are in reverse order. So the reason why we named the trust as a beneficiary is really to protect those IRA assets. There's been a Supreme Court case uh, out there, Clark v. Ramaker, that actually impacted how uh, IRAs can be left to beneficiaries or non-spousal beneficiaries. And I think most people now are along the lines that that makes a lot of sense, but they're concerned about the tax treatment. And so the trust has to be drafted correctly so that uh, when the IRA gets distributed or paid to the trust, that there is not accelerated tax treatment. And the way that we draft our trust or the rule that's out there is that if the trust is a see-through trust, you can actually see through the, uh, uh, the trust parameters and actually go through to the beneficiary's individual life expectancies and able to get the same treatment that you would have if you've laid uh, or designated the beneficiaries in their individual capacity. However, with one big difference is you get all those protections. So if you have a large IRA, large qualified plan, and you leave the assets to your beneficiaries, and they get sued, divorced, and the like, uh, those assets have a high degree of asset protection when they're in the trust. Now, one other point with financial advisors all, often um, is they understand that we name the trust the uh, beneficiary of an IRA, but if there's a husband and wife situation, they typically name the spouse as the primary beneficiary and the trust as a contingent. Well, we actually do the reverse order here at the law firm, and it's a nuance in the law that not a lot of people understand. I actually wrote an article on it, and we'll be happy to send that to you if you request it. Uh, and the, the key to this is there's, a, there's something in the law called a limited power of appointment. And if you have the trust as a contingent beneficiary rather than a primary beneficiary when, uh, the, um, uh, of the IRA, when the spouse receives that uh, IRA, she also loses that limited power of appointment if, it's in the, uh, if the trust is a contingent beneficiary. So it's a nuance in the law and a limited power of appointment is a flexibility tool that a lot of our clients like. It allows the surviving spouse to uh, redirect assets uh, based off of changed circumstances. So to learn more about this topic and to get into it in more detail, go ahead and list, uh, read my article uh, on it and uh, at, call the law firm with any questions. Thank you very much. It's been Bobby Fazy with Insight Law.